Jen Starr and I'm here at Viva Decor in Germany and I am going to show you a quick little project with my favorite medium which is Ferro. So Ferro is my favorite because it's like having two products in one. You're gonna, we're going to mix it with water first and get this very sheer paint in the background. You see the shine on that? So we're going to do that first and then we're going to use it straight from the jar and use it over a stencil to get a tone on tone effect. So. We'll make a quick little book cover. So first things first, we're going to start with the orange gold ferro. See it there. And when you open up the jar, it's a very thick but creamy textured medium. It's got kind of a sandy effect to it, or sandy feel to it. And I'm going to take a little bit out with a palette knife and put it on my piece on my mat here. And I'm going to mix it with water. And I want to work this in because it's very textured. It has like a sandy feel to it. I'm going to work it in. The more water you add to it, the more translucent it's going to be. And you can always add more as you go. And when I paint this, I'm going to paint it on just regular white paper. This is white cardstock. You can use watercolor paper or cardboard or chipboard or anything like that. And I'm going to start painting this on. I like to paint this kind of in X's because what's going to happen is as this dries and the light picks it up, the light will pick up the texture from different areas. Okay. One of my little tricks, if it starts to curl like that, I usually spray the back of it with water and that helps it behave. So this is step one. I usually do one quick little step, one coat, and then let it dry. As it dries, the more you build this up, the prettier it's going to get. So after one step, it'll look like this. Then I'll go in and add even a second color. You can add in the gold as well. So the gold is going to add a real shiny coat on top of that. Okay, and I'll add that in. Mix that with water. Same idea. And I'm going to just keep adding sheer coats to it. Again, I'm going to leave just a little bit of texture, that medium in there and build up the layers. So you can see the shine on that. Can you see that? Okay. Then we move in and here is with two coats on it. See the shine? There, whoop, over here. <laughs> see the shine, it almost has a marbled effect. So it has the texture where it looks marbled in here, right in here. That's what the texture is, that little grainy look to it. So we'll let that, this is dry already. I'm going to wipe up my excess here. Cleans up very easily while it's wet. And then we're going to go in with a stencil. This is one of my favorite stencils. This is called Lace, also a Viva Decor stencil. And I'm just going to lay this on top. And I'm going to pick up some of my medium right from the jar or the back of my palette. And I'm just going to scrape it just like I'm buttering toast. Very gently. You don't have to push too hard. And I usually go from different angles so that I get every little detail in there. You can actually hear the texture as I go. You'll hear the little grainy bits. It sounds like sand. It almost feels like sandpaper when it's dry. And it's nice because it has a nice matte finish when you use it straight from the jar. But if you use it with water, it has that high shine. So it's a very um, nice contrast all in one product. Okay. Looks like I got all of that there. You lift it right up. And 
Do you see the difference in the shine as I go? So you have a matte finish with the, with the texture. And then you have that high shine in the background that gives it a really pretty effect. So I let this dry. You can even hit this with a heat gun and dry it faster. It bubbles if you really like that effect. And then that's it. You use the paper. I glued it down to some chipboard to make a cover. And then that's it. You have a nice little book. And that's it. Hope you like it. If you like the video, if you want to see more from Viva Decor, you can go on the YouTube channel and subscribe. You can share it with your friends. We're going to have a lot more to come. So I hope to see you around YouTube. Bye-bye.